Let's continue our Team 7 coverage here tonight live at 6 by turning to an overnight warming shelter in Waterloo, which is now under threat of having to be closed down. The Waterloo Warming Center, as you know, at Jubilee Church, just opened back on January 6, but may have to close as early as this coming Tuesday. We'll talk about that right now with Storm Track 7 reporter Taylor Vessel outside the uh, Jubilee Church shelter there. Taylor, this centers around the building really not meeting the fire code as a warming shelter. Tell us more about that. Yeah, Ron, unfortunately, the fire marshal deemed that this church isn't up to snuff to be used as a shelter. Now, they've been open for about 11 days now, serving about 10 people each night, many of them just down on their luck. We've seen all sorts of people, families, elderly, the young. All are welcome here. That's the motto of many churches. And as a church, it 100% uh, meets fire code. But as a shelter, it's not. Waterloo Fire Chief Pat Trelor says the Waterloo Warming Center needs a place with a sprinkler system because folks are staying overnight. Blackhawk County Supervisor Chris Schwartz is asking the city for more time. Right now they have until Tuesday so folks can still ride out this storm. We were really surprised because we didn't go into this all willy-nilly. We talked to our colleagues in Lynn County and Johnson County that have been operating overflow shelters for a number of years. Trelor said he's not sure what other communities are doing but did consult with several other fire chiefs in Iowa. The vast majority of them said that they would shut down the center immediately because code is so clear on it. There again, we chose not to do that. Schwartz is grateful to stay open this weekend, but worries about finding another building so quickly, even more so one that fits their needs. The, the homeless population often congregates around bridges and around the river and such, and so we need and, and they don't have reliable transportation. So we need something that's just within reasonable walking distance. Now, in the meantime, they've installed five new smoke detectors, a carbon monoxide detector, and a fire watch, meaning someone is awake in the building at all times. Doors open at 8 tonight for the shelter. I talked to Mayor Quinton Hart just moments ago by phone. He assures me that himself, the fire department, and other city administration are working to find a solution for this issue. If anyone has any information about a building that could fit the center's need, please reach out using the contact information in this story on our website. Reporting live in Waterloo, Taylor Vessel, New 7 k WWL. Now, Taylor, thank you. Hopefully they'll resolve this issue rather quickly as temperatures will continue to plummet here soon.